guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to Eastbourne Fishermen. Uh, so today I just want to talk to you about uh, mackerel fishing, just give you an insight, a beginner's guide to mackerel fishing. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the items that I use for mackerel fishing and then we're going to have a go um, and I'll show you some videos of hopefully me trying to catch some mackerel over the high tide today. Uh, so the gear I've got uh, for mackerel fishing is I've got this Rovex mackerel hunter rod. It's an eight foot rod. Uh, it's for float and feather. It can uh, take 15 to 15 pound mono, but I use braid, uh, and it can cast two to four ounces. So yeah, it's absolutely perfect. It's a two piece rod. So there's the top bit, and there's the bottom bit. Uh, I paired that with a Rovex Ceratec 4000 reel. Uh, these little reels are absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, you know, really, really good, nice spinning reel. So that's the reel. Um, what else are you gonna need then? So you're gonna need some feathers, mackerel feathers or lures. Uh, the feathers I use are these ones here from Trace Builder. Uh, they're micro shrimps, they're absolutely brilliant, I absolutely love them. Um, also, I use these flash ones, and sometimes I use some feathers. Uh, like I say, you pick and choose whatever you want. You're also going to need um, some leads. There's two different types of leads that I, I potentially use for mackerel fishing. Uh, the first one is this kind of pear drop lead, which is here. And then I use these ones as well, which are called, I call them torpedo leads. Also in mackerel fishing you can use lures, uh, the ones that people use most of are these ones which are called Dexter Wedges, it's like a spinning lure, when you cast it out it spins and then obviously the hook trails behind. Also I use these, a like replica Toby lures and sometimes what I like doing is I like taking my feathers and then attaching the Dexter onto the bottom to act like a weight. Uh, to try and catch a bass behind the feathers and yeah, it seems to work really well um, I've also got these little lures that I made myself um, you can check them out on a previous um, DIY video, lockdown DIY video when everyone went a bit crazy and they all trying different ideas so this is actually just a bottle cap with some split shot in swivel at one end and hook at the other so we're going to give that a go um, maybe over the next coming weeks just to see if we can pick up a macro on that so I just want to see if it works yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty, uh, you know, straightforward. Just need rod, reel, feathers, and a weight, and or a lure, and that's it. That's all you need. Anyone can do mackerel fishing. Kids can do it. Adults can do it. Uh, grandparents can do it. Uh, it's a really, really good fun. And when they do come in, they come in in vast numbers. They tend to shoal, uh, and the shoal moves up and down the beach. So you can you can spot them on the beach by the bubbling in the water. It's like a, it's like a bubbling, like a boiling. They call it. Um, and then what happens is the mackerel chase the white bait. Um, and the white bait actually beached themselves on the beach. Um, you know, you cast your feathers into the shoal, reel in, and then hopefully you get a mackerel or two. So yeah, it's really, really good fun. I'd recommend it to anyone to do, anyone to try. Um, you can get a full starter set up from your local tackle shop. Um, I know the ones in Eastbourne, Anglers Down Tony's Tackle, um, do starter setups for mackerel uh, from around 40 to 50 pounds. And that, that is your rod, your reel, your feathers, your weights, all ready to go. Uh, also, whilst I've been doing the tackle shops campaign, um, we've covered from South End to Southampton and it's kind of like the same kind of pricing deal 40 to 50 pound will get you all you need um, you know to get you on the beach and get your mackerel fishing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rig up my rod get everything set up I'll show you how to do that on the camera um, and then we'll, we'll get the rigs in um, and hopefully we'll be able to catch a fish cheers right so I've already attached my reel uh, to the rod which is pretty simple it just comes on a uh, screw uh, bit there you just untie it and then reel it tighten the screw and that's your reel in there so I've done that already so all I'm going to do now is put the top section on like so look down the rod eyes just to make sure they're all straight and push that in that's all done and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the line from the reel round the outside of the bail arm and just pull that line all the way up through the eyes of the fishing rod like so. Got my bad eyes on today, so I do apologise. So once you've fed that all the way up through the eyes of the fishing rod, what you need to then do is you can either tie it directly onto your mackerel feathers, which I, I don't do, I like to put a clip on just in case I want to change my feathers during the session or change my lure. And then what we're going to do, get tie a clip on. Got a nice helicopter coming overhead. 
So I'm going to use these Triton Tackle Termininks. They're absolutely brilliant. One of the, I think they're probably the best clip I've ever used. Absolutely great. Um, and they go through all the rod eyes of your rod because uh, of their sli sli uh, streamlined design. And what I'm going to do, the knot I'm going to do is just a standard six turn up the line and then back through the last hole at the bottom, right close to the actual Terminink itself. Like that. Make sure you wet in the line and then all we do is we just pull that nice and tight. And then that goes into a nice tight oh, knot like that. Right, so all we need to do now is attach our feathers. Simple as that. So the ones I'm going to use today, like I said, are the shrimps. There which are here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clip, clip that on, like so. They won't come with these clips. Oh, I've added, actually added these clips on myself. I say some people will do like, directly tie the, uh, the rig to the uh, main line. Uh, so it's all personal preference of how you decide you want to fish. Uh, I think it's easier just to add a clip each end of the rig, and it makes it easier. Now on the other end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Dexter wedge. But I mean, what you really do would be to put a, a lead on the bottom if you didn't have a Dexter wedge, just like that, and then that's all ready for fishing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cast out, uh, I'll get the uh, camera on my chest and I'll give you some, you know, up close action and hopefully we'll be able to get some fish. Alright guys, so we're at the beach, we just set up our rod, just going to have the first cast of the day, get out there nice and far, and hopefully we'll be able to bag a mackerel or two. You see, oh that's shoulder in right in front of me already, oh, that's a good sign, that's a really good sign, it's just right out there. Hopefully we'll be able to pick a couple of them off. Well, they're definitely hit. I just see them shouldering straight out in front of me. Oh, there they are, over that side. There they are, right up over there. See them in the bubbling in the water? Oh, I think we're on. I think we're on to a fish. I think we're into a fish. Come on. Oh, yeah, we're into a little fish. There he goes, a little one there. Nice little mackerel there. It is. So there's the first mackerel there. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're fish on. I think we're fish on. We might be fish on. I think we might actually be fish on here. Yeah? Oh, hey, got a little fish on. These are small. We got one small mackerel. Nice bait size. All right, so this is what the mackerel want. This is all the white bait down here. This is what the mackerel are after. See, it's all washing up on the shore. That's what they're all. That's what they want. Another little one. Small one. Too small, that. Eh? One of the big ones for tea. Shoulder, now they're running up and down the beach. But in this weather, I thought I didn't think you'd be able to catch them in this weather, but you know, if they're here, I guess they're here. Oh. Just want a couple of big ones.
there they are, they're just right up there. I just want to pop it right next to them. Just work my way back through. Through them. They're all up there. Work it slowly back through and hopefully we'll be able to pick something up. Oh, come on, take the lure, take the lure. Take the lure, take the lure. Yeah, we're in, we're in, we're into a fish. We are into a fish. Come on. We got a fish on. We got a fish on, baby. Small ones. No fish. It's too small. Even too small for bait. No one. In. Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> nice little tiller! Whoa! That's what we're after. Needs to be a bit bigger than that though, it's a bit small. So that one's going back. Then we'll go again. Okay, so we're into a fish here. Just playing a fish, obviously you see all the white bait coming through. Playing the fish in, playing the fish in, I think I've got a couple here. Yep, there we go. Another nice mackerel. Nice mackerel, that's what we're after. Brilliant. Feels like a nice one. It's really good fun in this light gear. Pulling her in now, just coming over this side. Yep, that's a lovely mackerel. Happy days, we're into a fish straight away. Oop. Well guys, so first cast, first fish. Happy days, it's a, it's a really nice size mackerel. Yes, yeah, so I think we're into another fish. Into another mackerel, I think. Feels a little bit on the rod. Yeah, we've got another mackerel there. Another little one. Just a little mackerel there. So we're now back into another fish. Now we're into another mackerel, should I say? Feels good. Feels good. Come back in now. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Back into a fish, baby. Back into a fish. Back into a fish. Hopefully it's gonna come. Where are we? Oh, we're over there. Feels nice. Feels nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Well, guys, so what I'm going to do now is going to fill up my mackerel that I caught today. So here's my fillet knife. Ikea fillet knife. Just gonna get my mackerel that I caught today. I'm just gonna fill it that. It's coming in. Cut in. side
So as you can see then we filleted our fish. Nice fillet there. There's a nice fillet there. As you can see inside of the uh, stomach of the mackerel, we've got what it's been feeding on, which is all the little white bait there. And what we're going to do is we're going to fry up the uh, cooker and then uh, cook our fillets. Right, so we fired up our cooker. Just put some a little bit of a spray in there. That's all cooking, ready to go. Just going to heat up the pan and then we will throw our fillets on. Right, guys, so the mackerel are in. Just going to give it a quick toast on each side. Don't want to put them in for too long, just want to give them a nice quick sear. So guys, the mackerel's all cooked. It's in the in the pan there. Just need a bit of quick taste. From the sea, straight to. Mm. Oh man. Literally cannot be fresh caught mackerel. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Just watch out for the bones. Mm. One of my favourite fish. Easily one of my favourite fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. Right guys, so thanks very much for watching this episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that is mackerel from the sea to the plate. Cheers.